now let us discuss about pumping lemma for context free languages pumping lemma is mainly useful in order to prove a language as not a context free language so by using pumping lemma we can prove a language as not a context free so first let us see the theory and then we will solve with the help of an example let l be a context free language so initially we have to assume the given language as context free language and let n be an integer constant so we have to select n value select a string z from the language l such that mod z is greater than or equal to n so we have to select the string z from the language l in such a way that length of the string is greater than or equal to n next we have to divide the string into five parts such as u v w x y such that by satisfying these two conditions the first condition is mod v w x is less than or equal to n here v w x is nothing but middle part so this middle part should be less than or equal to n and the second condition is mod vx is greater than or equal to 1 why because here we are pumping we are incrementing v and the x value initially i value is 0 next i value is 1 next i value is 2 so pumping means incrementing here we are incrementing v and the x so that's why the condition is mod vx is greater than or equal to 1 so by satisfying these two conditions we have to divide the string into five parts if these two conditions are satisfied then we have to check this condition also for i is greater than or equal to 0 u v power i w x power i y is in n okay so this is the theory here now let us solve the problem show that l is equal to a power n b power n c power n such that n greater than or equal to 1 is not a context free language so let us see the solution initially we have to assume this language has the context free language let l is a context free language uh, next we need to assume an integer value let n is equal to 2 or n is equal to 3 it is our choice we have to assume one integer value and we need to select a string z from the language l such that mod z is greater than or equal to n so first we have to write the language so l is equal to suppose here n value starts from 1 if n is equal to 1 then what is the string a power 1 is nothing but a b power 1 is nothing but b c power 1 is nothing but c suppose if n is equal to 2 then a power 2 means a a b power 2 means b b c power 2 means c c if n is equal to 3 then a power 3 means 3 by a b power 3 means 3 by b c power 3 means 3 by c so so on so likewise we can have n number of strings now we have to select a string here we are assuming that n is equal to 3 if n is equal to 3 then what is the string we will get z is equal to what is the string a power n a power 3 means 3 by a b power 3 means 3 by b c power 3 means c by c 3 by c now we have to satisfy that condition whether that condition is true or not if this condition is true then only we can select this string so what is the condition mod z is greater than or equal to n what is mod z here mod 3 by a 3 by b Three by C is greater than or equal to what is n value three. So what is the length of three by A, three by B, three by C? Three plus three plus three nine. So nine is greater than or equal to three. Condition is true. So we can divide the string into five parts. So what is the string? Three by A, three by B, three by C. So we have to divide this string into. Uh, we have to divide this string into how many parts? Uh, five parts. Okay. U V W X Y. so here we have two conditions are there let us assume that uh, this is uh, v this is uh, w this is x this is u and this is y so u means w v means a w means b 
X means B, whereas Y means triple C. So triple A is over. Uh, next triple B. So one B is uh, left. Uh, U V. Let us assume that this is uh, W. So Y triple C, B triple C, D triple C. So U V W X Y. Okay, U V W X Y. U means W. Triple A is over. Next triple V is over. Triple C is over. We can assume in any order, but we need to satisfy those three conditions. Those two conditions. What is the first condition? Mod B W X is less than or equal to N. Mod. What is B here? B means A. What is W? B. What is X? B W X. X means B. Is less than or equal to N. Less than or equal to what is N? 3. So what is the length here? 3 only. 3 less than or equal to 3. Condition is true. Let us check the second condition. What is the second condition? Mod BX is greater than or equal to 1. Mod BX is greater than or equal to N. What is B? A. What is X? B. What is the length of AB? B means A. X means B. 2. 2 is greater than or equal to 1. Condition is satisfied. Now we have to check this uh, condition. For space constraints, I am writing here. For I greater than or equal to 0, U V power I, W X power I, Y belongs to N. Let I is equal to 0. What is U value? What is U value? W A. What is V value? For I is equal to 0. What is V value? What is V value? A. A power. Here we are assuming I as 0. 0. W means B. X means B. B power 0. What is Y? Y means B triple C. B triple C. So A A into A power 0 means epsilon. Epsilon into anything is nothing but that anything. B into B power 0 means epsilon. So B B triple C. Okay. Here we got double A double B double C. But this language, but this string is not present in the language. So this string is not present in the language. So we can, here we got contradiction result. Initially we assumed here he has context free language. But here we got a string which is not present in the context free language. So we can say that our language is not context free. Suppose if this string is present in the language, then we have to assume I as one and generate the next string. Suppose if this string is also present in the language, then we have to assume I as 2 and generate a string. So likewise, we have to uh, generate the strings until we get a string which is present in the language. If that string is not present in the language, then we can say that this language is not context free. Here, we got a string which is not present in the language. So we can say that this is not context free.